Welcome to my video on triple beam balances. First off, I want to tell you the parts. We have our pan or tray. That's the, where we place our object to be weighed. We have our beams. There are three of them, henceforth the name triple beam balance. And on top, we all have our riders, and they ride on the beams. Okay, we have one for our single grams, for our hundreds, which is in the middle, 100 grams, 200, and so forth, and then our tens as well. We also have our indicator or our pointer. That's going to tell us when we have put the right amount of weight to balance our object. So we there we can tell if our mass is correct. And last but not least, we have our base. Our base is going to be where we carry it and what provides the support. And we're going to talk a little bit more about the adjustment knob here on the side. Okay, the first thing we do when we get our triple beam balance is make sure it's on a flat surface. We want to make sure our riders here are at the zero mark. So right now they're not. You have no idea who used it before you. Okay, we take a look at our indicator. Is it at zero? And right now you can see that line is not at the zero. So we need to go all the way down here to our adjustment knob. And that is what we're going to turn to make this line match up. Now we could turn that clockwise or counterclockwise. Okay, in this case, we're going to have to turn it clockwise. You're going to say as we turn that, it's going to balance itself out. Okay, we might need to go a little bit more here. Once it's balanced, we can now make our accurate measurements using the triple beam balance. And we're going to move our riders, first starting with the hundreds. Now, once we move to 100, we're going to move, the riders can be in the notch. And it's going to weigh more than 100. Now, it doesn't weigh more than 200. Okay, it doesn't, so we need to go back to 100. And let's move our tens, right? Let's move from 100 to 110. A little bit too much, so we know it's between those two numbers, 100 to 110. We're going to move our singles. Okay, if we slide this, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107. Let's leave it 107. Just a little bit more. Move to 107.4, and we're going to see that it balances out. So we know our rat here, our specimen, is 107.4 grams. Our second object is not a solid. It's actually going to be a liquid, which is tough to pour onto our triple beam balance. You might have the same problem with something like granular sand. So we're going to have to actually use a container to hold our object. So we want to know the weight or the mass of our container first. So we're going to move slowly to the first beam. So we're going to recognize that the cup in this case weighs 9.8 grams. Now that we have the container mass, we are going to add our liquid or maybe it might be our chemical or dry substance into the container. And let's not forget we need to move our riders back to zero. So now let's find the measurement. And we're finding the measurement of, in this case, the liquid and the container. That's going to be important because we are going to have to go back once we find the measurement and subtract the mass of the container. And this is called TARE, T-A-R-E. Now if we look closely, the mass is 70 grams. Now 70 grams minus our container weight, 70 minus 9.8, we get our answer of 60.2 grams. In the following pictures, try to find the total mass of each triple beam. The first one is 400 plus 0 plus 1 for our answer of 401 grams. The second picture, 400 plus 20 plus 0, we have 420 grams. Our third picture, 400 plus 30 plus 3, 433 grams. You might want to pause and try the last three by yourself before continuing in the video. 2 grams, 0 plus 40 plus 3, 43 grams, and lastly, 120 grams.
program. 